Right now, I mean, we're distanced. Uh, we're, we're talking over Zoom, uh, and many people would argue that we are further apart than ever before. Um, but I would actually disagree. Now, if you can remember those days when we met in person, think about all the meetings we had in person in which everyone in the room was playing the air violin. Right? All those meetings where everyone was, was playing the air violin, faking the part, uh, uh, projecting this image of perfection. So we were physically near each other, but when it came to actually connecting and communicating from a place of truth, we could not be further away. And so with everything that's happened this year, uh, the gift, the opportunity in it is that we have been each individually and collectively humbled in a sense that, you know, the distance between us is there, but we can also communicate from a place of truth, a, a place of understanding, a place for empathy uh, that perhaps we didn't have before. And so I, I invite you to think about uh, maybe at home, maybe in your life, also maybe in your work too. Where have you been playing the air violin? Where might you be withholding uh, your true sounds from those that share the stage with you? And as you think about this, notice any judgment about yourself that you might feel around this. Right? There's a lot of shame that comes from playing the air violin. Um, I certainly experienced that as well, but what we should consider is that in life and music, and when we play the air violin, when we fake the part, it's often not coming from a place of malice and it's not coming from a place of being dishonest. No, at its core, the air violin is just a, a misguided attempt at generosity. And what I mean is that we're often so keenly aware of our own faults, our own imperfections, our own shortcomings, that we play the air violin in a sense to not burden those around us because we are operating under the premise that perfection is required for us to exist on stage. But I think something that we can each find peace in in this moment is that uh, no matter who we are, no matter where we are right now, in some sense, in some aspect of our life, we each are playing the air violin right now. None of us truly knows what's happening. And uh, finding harmony is not presenting perfection in this time, but also having, in some sense, the, the willingness to, to communicate from our truth in a way that will ultimately connect with the truth and the experiences of those we care about and those that we share the stage with.